What is up guys, this is Jeremy from Mr. X Dark 360 and today I'm going to be showing you a ROM called Cyanogemod 9 for the Epic 4G Touch. This is a long awaited ROM that has been in the Epic 4G Touch and development and it's finally here. All the major parts are working except for video recording and Netflix playback. So no Netflix, no video recording. If you go into video recording, your phone is simply going to crash and you're going to have to do a battery pull. So there will be a link in the description for this, and let's get on with what's in CyanogenMod 9. So they really hadn't added in more features into CyanogenMod 9. Up, you know, this is just an alpha build, so you can't really do that much, but you still got the nice stock AOSP latest version of Android experience. So, of course, let's drop into all the major key counterpart apps that are on this ROM. So there we go. Oh, got some numbers in there. You got Ice Cream Sandwich um, Dialer, Ice Cream Sandwich Phone App. Everything is Ice Cream Sandwich. If you have a Galaxy Nexus, pretty much everything on that Galaxy Nexus is going to be on this ROM. So Contacts, got everything there. It's all themed, it's blue, everything's nice. Uh, got your launcher, of course. You can customize um, what animation you want in this. I think you just no, we can't do that. But I think you can go into uh, oops, having some troubles here. <laughs> I'm looking through my phone's uh, phone's video recording while I'm doing this. I'm recording with an iPhone. Sorry, you guys. It's just a past phone that I did not like. I'll just say that. But yeah, um. Well, I'm getting off track. What was I gonna do? Oh yeah, you can customize the animation in the launcher. So drawer transition effect, and I can make it like cube out. And then if we went and check that out, it would go like that. So that's pretty cool. If you're that type of guy who likes that, I'm not really a fan of that. I like the default stock card. Uh, what's called the card stack one, not stock card. I don't know what I'm saying. But uh, yeah, it's basically just AOSP ice cream sandwich. Let's move on to. I'll skip messaging. Hopefully, you guys know what it looks like. I'll just go into a brief. I don't want to let any numbers out. I probably should delete all the threads first. So, you know what? Let me go ahead and delete the th threads. So, there we go. It just looks like that. Um, wanna do a new message, you can do that, and of course you got the ice cream sandwich keyboard. The browser is pretty much the exact same as the ice cream sandwich browser. Um, Chrome beta does not work, so yeah, just throwing that out for you guys. Chrome beta does not work, and you got some nice transition effects, but notice they are slower because ice cream sandwich, the developers of ice cream sandwich from Android, didn't want people to accidentally switch their phones like that too fast and then get mad because it switched. So there is about a two second delay, so there's nothing to worry. That's not part of the ROM. It's just with Android Ice Cream Sandwich. So don't gotta worry about that. Gmail, that's of course um, just like stock, everything. There's all my emails there if you want to email me. Yeah, just normal Ice Cream Sandwich Gmail app. I have noticed 3G to be slow and battery life is of course awful because it's ice cream sandwich so if you want good battery life I recommend using some other ROMs that you can find on XDA developers epic 4G touch development site or if you can stick with it then that's what I'm doing now and I can get through the day so of course you got the play store camera camera let's go into camera now the camera app is actually pretty cool you can see me right there but uh, yeah, let's see if you want to go to rear view. You can still have that nice sounds. I think, let's see if there's a sound when we capture. Yep. But if we do turn our sound off, I believe there is no noise. Nope, no noise, so that's good. Really good CM9 for disabling that. Because, like, on gingerbread ROMs, I would have my noise off, and it would still, like, make a noise. So, yeah, good job, CM9.
but yeah do not even scroll up to the video or else it will just crash so you got your nice settings here and of course you can go through all of them do whatever you want I like that on but yeah that's the camera app play music YouTube YouTube is the ice cream sandwich uh, ice cream sandwich thing uh, there is no longer the green screen bug so you don't have to worry about that let's actually let me turn on Wi-Fi yeah you do have your toggles up here and the ice cream sandwich uh, ice cream sandwich status bar so that's really nice now I do have that voicemail thing I don't know if you guys get that but I always get this voicemail thing when I put on sandwich and mod things so I don't know if it's like ROM with the PRL maybe I have to update that but yeah oh that's weird so I guess if you're in an auto rotate switchable app it can also switch the status bar so like if we go home <laughs> sorry I think I might be getting a little bit sick it won't switch so don't go to worry about that but yeah you got your ice cream sandwich um ice cream sandwich YouTube app and that's all I really wanted to show you guys of course you got your widgets I like the Gmail and the bookmarks local widget but yeah let's just go into system settings about video about phone not about video I'm thinking about the video already editing it but yeah Android version 4.0.3 click on this go into the neon droid come on neon droid oh there we go boop 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 oh yeah that is pretty nice got some sexy androids there oh no homo <laughs> but uh yeah Sorry, getting a little creepy on you guys. But yeah, build number IML474K. I have no idea what that means. Sandwich so mod version 9 Alpha 1. Uh, you got your CPU information, memory information, and of course Android version 4.0.3. Status I've had this phone on all day, about 6 hours through school, and I still have 86%. So, battery life is definitely better than most ice cream sandwich ROMs, but I'd still watch it because. Um, instead of inconsistent, and you do have the boot off animation, and of course the nice ice cream sandwich lock screen. So yeah, guys, thanks for watching this video. Sorry my video quality is so sort of bad, and yeah, I'll have a link of this ROM in the description. And thanks for watching. And also, if you need more help, don't contact me. Like for me, for like a little tiny help of like what's in this ROM, that's okay. But if you got something about like your phone bricked or something don't contact me um, it's not my fault but I do know a guy that can help you his name is QB King 77 and he is very good with these Samsung phones for Sprint so if you would like to check out more videos I recommend going to his channel I don't have that much of variety but trust me he has everything there and he supports you well he always he usually replies to every single comment if you have a question so I'll have a link to his channel in the description, and thanks for watching this video guys, and I'll see you next time with a new ROM.